Well, guess what? There is one more undocumented feature that I missed on my 2022.4.5 video. Another thing that was taken away in the version 11 update in December was the ability to add and delete sources in the audio menu. Here I have a short video to show you how this works. Press the streaming audio button if you have it as a custom app icon on the bottom of the screen. If you don't, press the app menu and select the streaming audio button. This screen shows the current streaming audio. Press the down button here to see all of the selections available to choose from. But what if you don't need all of these choices? For example, what if you don't have a Spotify or Tidal subscription? You don't want them filling up space if you're never going to pick them. So go to the far right side and click on the icon with the three equalizer bars to go into settings. There are adjustments for tone, balance, and options. Now there is a fourth tab for sources. Click on it and you will see the music options. They default to checked for all of them. So for example, I will uncheck the Spotify and title and then exit the screen. Now when I go back to the music screen, press down on the arrow and I can see it is updated with just the items I have checked, which happens to be radio, Bluetooth, streaming, karaoke, tune in and USB. One other thing I want to tell you is the bug in the karaoke that started in version 2021.44.25 is still present in this version. When you start a song in karaoke, it will start playing. Whether the microphone icon is on or off, the song's vocals will still play. So karaoke mode where the car passengers can sing basically doesn't work. Hopefully Tesla addresses this in a future update. Well, that is it for this follow-up video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Just in case you haven't seen it, this is a link for the 2022.4.5 update that I did a few days ago.